Hello and welcome to this edition of Big Scott 35. Tonight, I'm going to talk a little bit about how I am uh, collecting and uh, doing other things during uh, this time of crisis. But more importantly, I am excited to show you uh, my first PSA set registry completion of Gary Carter Playing Day Tops cards. So, let's take a look and see what I got. Hello and welcome back to Big Scott 35 Cards. Like I said in the opener, I uh, just want to go over a little bit what's going on in my uh, world in collecting. Uh, I have slowed up. Um, I went today and got some money back from uh, LCS. Not returned anything, but I, I did have cards with them for a PSA uh, shipment with money. And since PSA is closed, I went and got that. He was, they were supposed to have a card show today, of course. That was closed. Uh, canceled but his shop is still open for a few hours it's in a mall um i'm full disclosure i'm in northern iowa it has i mean we we have up to 65 cases confirmed now in the state uh but we're not like some other states with it, we are self-quarantining and the restaurants are closed us up for takeout or drive through whatever uh but not all the businesses are closed most of them are but some are open certain hours and stuff my place of work is open i am still working i got overtime tomorrow night i i work in a factory i actually manufacture uh pharmaceutical drugs on a large scale the active ingredient so i don't see them shutting us down unless it gets it has to be really bad at my plant site where people are getting inf getting infected and um, we're taking a lot of precautions only people that are there are the ones that uh, need to be there um, everybody else is you know if a, sh a trucker comes in dropping off a shipment he is quarantined uh, so you know we're distancing ourselves as best as we can and uh, we already wear PP when we work so we have all that under control but uh so that means i have been buying a little bit here this week uh little probably should stop uh but you know i'm still i still look i've taken a break from doing like gary carter's i've been picking up uh other stuff um since i will be showing you all my new uh my gary carter set registry that i have completed so when i got completed with that I, not that i was burned out on hunting for them it was just uh just i have other things and you know how it is a collecting you get honed in on doing one thing you kind of neglect the other stuff and with the new cards coming out i've kind of gotten into some of my other fields like mets cards uh, really got on a pete alonzo uh you know getting his stuff uh, been working on a rain, his rainbow base for this year. Uh, and I, I do love Conforto. I love David Wright. And I have other guys that I, that I pick up as well, which I'll be showing you some of those cards later this week. It's been about a week since I made a video because I am kind of slowing down. And I mean, I haven't been sick or anything, but, uh, you know, I, I live in, I'm from Virginia. My family's in Virginia. And uh, this has been hard on me and my family being so far apart with this going on. Uh, my parents are in their 70s. Um, and it's just, and they have health issues. Um, so with that in my, you know, I have godson that I love so much. And he's he's doing great. He, he, he goes to school at JMU and he's back at home now. They're, it looks like they're done for the year. And uh, so... You know, I just mess them so much and hate to use the word depressed because people jump on that. Oh, you can't be depressed, but it's hard not to be in this time. I am, I do have a little anxiety issues going on. I know that I'm, um, I've had trouble with sleeping and stuff, but you know, I, everybody's going through the same thing. Even if you're with your family, you're nervous for them all the time. So 
I hope everybody's doing well, being safe, and taking care of each other. Now, with all that being said, let's take a look and see if my Gary Carter's I got. Hello, and welcome back again. So now, flip the camera around, show some cards. Got a few things on display. Uh, I believe this is the 80 big cards. Uh, yep, 80 tops big big cards. Uh, 84 tops super Gary Carter uh, in a five, and uh, a cello pack of Fleer 1984 nine. Love that um, pack. Uh, I don't even have this card loose, <laughs> but I have it there. So, uh, but I, <laughs> I love, it took forever to get that back. And uh, I was shocked to get that back in a nine, but I love it. But let's get into what we're here for. Let's look at the, uh, starting with the 75 rookie catchers, outfielders. Now it's a 19 card set. It's not a lot, but uh, you know, we're, we're still going to show it. I'm excited about getting, completing something. I, now I'm working on the super set which is going to be forever. So I got this in a near mint seven. Uh, I know I can get an eight and actually it's a very good price on an eight. I was going to get it at the card show today, but it was canceled. Um, but I know who's got it and I'm going to try to get it from him. Uh, next is going to be the 76 tops, which is, I like this one a lot. And an eight, the all-star rookie cup. Really like this one uh, for an eight. A uh, little off center on the back. I mean, I've showed you these before. I'm not going to go too much over it, but love that. Love that card. It's not my favorite. My favorite would be coming up. 77. Uh, this is a six. This is something that I will be looking to upgrade on. Um, I, I got this loose sent it in myself to get graded uh i did not think it was going to get a six i was looking hoping for a seven that's kind of my bottom range but it came back a six so it is what it is eight on a 78 expos really like this card again i grew up playing catcher a lot um wanted to be a catcher uh, things didn't work out, knee problems, things like that. So, 79 Expos. Again, uh, Gary Carter. Love it. Very crisp seven there. This is probably my favorite card. I like action photos. Looks like he made a tag or something like that. So, love this one in a seven. I love this card so much. I one day I will get this in a ten because yeah, I do love this card so much, and I really love the Expos uniforms. Uh, Eighty one. This one's massively off centered. Um, again, this is a card I had several of, and I just sent my best one in to get graded, and I will be looking to upgrade this one. I like the eighty one. Got the Expos hat down at the bottom. Uh, but I have it graded and it could put, help complete my set. 82, always like the 82 tops. Um, you'll just find a lot bottom of the top off centered in this one. Uh, again, I, I, it's a little bottom top on this one, but corners are sharp. Uh, a very sharp eight. Um, very happy with that. That's a cool one because it shows his locks. Uh, when I was a kid, I wanted to get a perm so I can have locks to be like Gary Carter. Another one was locks. Love the 83 design as well. Pitcher and pitcher. I like the 83 better than the next one I'll be showing, which will be the 84. Got this in a 10. I didn't like, I'm not a square edge type. The big picture square, but having another one inside, I, I like the circle better. So really like this, uh, like the 83 a lot better than 84. Now, when he did this design in the 70s with the basketball with the, all the crazy colors, I like that because I didn't. Have, I don't think I had a picture in the picture because that this card always reminded me of that. I think it was 77 basketball. Uh, this is his last Expos. Now they've got. I have the tops traded of 85 as well, which is not 
in this for this set um, it'll be in a super set um, I have that one as well with the Mets but this is his last Expos card with with the team in 85 now this is his first Mets card and this is why I'm a big Mets fan now 86 Mets and a nine which I am very happy with with the black border very excuse me very hard to get graded but again very happy with that 87 another one for centering issues is always tough to to get graded this was actually a pack pulled of mine I uh, have a ton of these I've broken a lot of 87 <laughs> over the years you can all you can always find a if you want to have a cheap break you can always find an 87 box probably for about ten dollars and go to town with it 88 and a 10 89 and a 9 this one is you'll find off centered a lot it's a little off centered here not too bad uh you know, a lot of miscuts in 89 as well, I've noticed. Miss, just quality control. Uh, you'll have problems with the borders with 90, so I'm happy with the 10 on this one. This one I went out and bought. I have uh, pages of 10s. I mean 10s. Pages of 90s, but none of them I, I knew. I've, I'm still new. I've been probably doing this for going on a year now. Of getting graded cars but man this is always a learning process always learning uh, a smart man says that always be learning 91 Giants and I have I'm looking I have a Tiffany on watch and I know I can get a desert shield this is the one that has the three different you know that's the I believe there's a peachy of it as well but there's a 10 and 91, which I don't think that's too tough to get 10s in. And then 92, 10. Another one I don't think is too tough. That's where he's starting to look like the old man Gary Carter. But he's still partying. Look at the mullet he's got going on. Partying. Love it. And then 93. And I said the other one was his last Expos. He re went back to the Expos to retire uh, before they moved. So, well, shoot, it's probably years, another decade before they moved them, right? So, 93 tops, uh, Gary Carter, and that's his last one in a 10. So, as you can see, most of these are older, non uh, lighthouses, the PSA, and the white up there i do have some with the lighthouse so a little mixture of what i have and uh i am really happy that i completed this i mean i have i think about 60 60 some graded cards of of gary carter right now and that's not i don't think this one's in my psa or this one right as of right now in one of my registries so with that please leave a like subscribe leave some comments um, tell me what you think of my set there what are you collecting what what set registry are you coming on uh, I I didn't even know this was out here this is one of the things that I picked up after really getting into the YouTube community and I'm pretty addicted to it now I must say after completing this I've slowed down some but Man, I love doing it. So, until next time, please take care of one another. See ya!